Good morning family. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 5 and we are going to work. Okay, so I literally just woke up, hence the craziness, and I am going to get ready to go to work. We're going to be doing a day in the life of a nurse slash come to work with me kind of day. So I'm going to get ready. I'm going to pick out my uniform. I'm going to do my 10 minutes work makeup and yeah, we're going to do this. And look who's here with me. That's right. Anyways, I'm going to go get her ready and then I'm going to get ready and get out of here. Okay, guys, let's get this quick little 10 minutes makeup done. So this is not a get ready with me video. It is not a um, makeup tutorial video. This is just my 10 minutes makeup before work. So all I need to do now is define my eyebrows, put on a little bit of foundation and maybe some lashes here and there. I normally don't do too much when I go to work like that, but I'm going to do a little more just for you guys. So I might add a pair of lashes or something, but we don't know yet. Anyways, first thing first for my eyebrows, the one thing I always always use is this Anastasia Beverly Hill brow dip pomade this is what it looks like this is how much of it I've used if you see me looking down that's because I have a mirror here that I'm looking at okay so we're done with that next I'm gonna move on to defining my eyebrows I'm gonna be using the studio finish concealer NC 45 by Mac and this is what that looks like I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see as you can see I'm almost out so I'm using this brush from I think it was from Walmart it was only a dollar it's just an angled brush I know I keep saying this guys but if you guys want a detailed makeup tutorial please leave a comment down below so I can do that for you guys um, this is just going to be a quick get ready with me okay so that's done and then I'm gonna blend it in really quick move on to the next side Because I'm in a rush, I'm going to use my finger to blend it in real quick. And then I'm going to go over top of that. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible, y'all. I got a whole bunch of pages that I'm seeing today. And I want to be able to get through all of it with you guys and be able to show you guys as well. So, okay, so we're done with that. So for my eyelid, I'm also using Anastasia Beverly Hill, which is my everyday palette, which is also my favorite palette. This one right here. As I said, this is my everyday palette. That's why it looks so beat up. Wait till you see the inside though. Oh my God. I mean, I don't even know what to use. So I think we're gonna use what's left of that, which is barely nothing, but that's my favorite. So first for my crease color, I'm gonna use that color right there, which as you can see, I use that a lot as well. So I'm gonna use this like fluffy brush. This is what it looks like. Just to um, fill in my crease real quick. I'm using that color because it kind of matches the uniform I'm going to be wearing. So anyways, I'm going to use that color right there and I'm going to apply it to my lid. This color is beautiful because it has some shine to it. It has some glittery shine to it. And um, again, I usually don't use colors like these for work, but um, since I'm going to film this for you guys, I just want it to be a little fancy. I need to restock my makeup, my skincare products, so I think I'll do a video on that. Maybe I'll take you guys shopping with me to get all my feminine hygiene products, my makeup, my um, body spray, and all of that so that you guys can see what I use and maybe that'll inspire you guys to um, get hooked on the stuff that I like. Okay guys, don't laugh at me in this video y'all. I'm using my everyday makeup and this is real life and you guys are basically following us around all day every day for 25 days so you're gonna get to see a lot of real stuff so what is that area called the underneath my brows for that I'm using this palette see how much of this I've used but anyways I'm gonna use this color right here for my brow bone area yeah that's what it's called brow bone you guys I appreciate you guys so so much I don't even know what I did to deserve this but one of you guys commented on my video and said that my channel was growing like weed and let me tell you that is like the best way to describe how much um, growth I've been getting like it came out of nowhere anybody who does YouTube they'll tell you this YouTube is hard. YouTube is not easy. It's not a walk in the park. It is very, very hard. We put a lot of work in to be able to um, present you guys with these content. 
and when you put a lot of work in and you don't see a lot of results it's kind of disappointing at times but on the flip side when you see the amount of support that I'm getting from you guys the love and the positivity I just I just I don't know I don't know how to say it. I'm forever grateful for you guys I had no idea no idea whatsoever but here we are anyways I'm gonna go back in with my concealer just to define my um I guess my eye I'll show you guys what I mean so I'm gonna just draw a line right here I'm gonna just draw a line right here just to separate my eye makeup from the rest of my face makeup if that makes sense that's how you get that sharp look or at least that's how I do it I like to do that just to create some separation and then I like to blend it in like so and then I'm using the same concealer to conceal underneath my eyes and my nose my forehead my chin so even though I say this is not a full makeup tutorial, I feel like it is. Anyways, I'm going to use this brush. It's like an angled brush. And then for my foundation, I'm going to be using this Match Master by MAC. This is what it looks like. I'm going to go back in with my concealer and conceal underneath my eyes again. So for those of you who wanted to know if I still work as a nurse, yes, I still work as a nurse. I'm just not in the hospital right now, but um, I'm doing home health. I just like the flexibility it gives me um, with being a mom and being a possible entrepreneur and with this whole YouTube thing and just everything else I have going on. I like the flexibility it gives me. Okay, so now that my face has a little life back into it. I'm going to go in with my powder and the powder I'm going to be using for this look is the Laura Mercier powder. This is a setting powder. I'm just going to set the places where I applied my concealer. For that I'm using this brush. Okay so now that I have some powder on my face I'm going to go back in with this palette. I'm going to be going in with this color right here to define my um, cheekbones and my nose. I start from underneath my eyebrows and I work my way down and then just blend it. And then I'm going to use a bigger brush. This was actually from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to use that to define my cheekbones. Oh! Okay, so I feel like my face is good. Now I'm going to go back and define my eyes a little more. So the liner I'm going to be using is this Roller Liner by Benefit. This is what it looks like. do a little bit of a subtle cat eye nothing crazy just subtle okay so there we are guys I think I'm gonna do it y'all I'm gonna apply eyelashes and for my eyelashes I'm excited to show you guys this this is one of my first ever merch but this is my very own eyelashes bold and beautiful look at that that is so cute. Let me show you what it looks like inside. The reason I decided to go with this lashes versus any other lashes is because this you can use during the daytime. It's not crazy. It's not super dramatic. You can also use this at night for like a date night or a friend's night or a movie or anything. These lashes can also be reused many times. And the best part about this is this is my very own lashes. So my line is called Name But Beauty. I'll leave all the info down below. So if you want a pair of these lashes and you also want to support your girl, click the link down below below and get you a pair of these okay anyways I'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes and for my eyelashes I always use the hair glue I don't know I've always used it I'm used to using it this works for me so I always use it I'm gonna go ahead and apply this off of camera because I can't talk and I can't focus and when your eyelashes are applied wrong your eyes start to water so I gotta be really careful with this I don't want to be sitting with a patient and going like that the whole time so I'm gonna apply this off camera and then I'll be right back okay so this is it I went ahead and added the pair of lashes but see what a good pair of lashes does to your entire look I mean now I'm just gonna apply something to my lips real quick I think I'll go with this lip gloss by LA color 
This is actually from the Dollar Tree, y'all, and this thing works wonders. I love, love, love this. So for my lip liner, I'm going to be using Chestnut by MAC. I mean, look at this, y'all. Is she glowing or what? Okay? This hair is super duper long. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold it back. So I'm using this. Okay, so this is it. This is my quick 10 to 15 minutes makeup look right before work. Okay, so these are the uniform I'm going to be wearing today. As I told you guys, I like the set look. And this is the set I'm going to be wearing. I actually got this set from Walmart. It was $18.99 a piece. So $18.99 for the top and $18.99 for the pants. And $18.99 for the pants. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that on real quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like. what it looks like I have my set on sorry if the mirror is kind of dirty sorry if the mirror is kind of dirty I need to clean it but actually this is the full-length mirror that I was telling you guys about I like to wear my shirts like this not always but most times especially especially now that I've lost a lot of weight and my uniforms are a little big for me I like to tuck them in like that and it's also very fashionable so let me show you guys so I'm going to be wearing these shoes. These are just some regular black shoes. I'm not going to wear them in here, of course, because this is my bedroom and I don't like to wear shoes in my bedroom. And I'm also and I'm also going to be wearing this North Face jacket because it is getting cold out here. But yeah, this is basically what the whole thing looks like. So I have my badge on. I have it covered, of course. I have my stethoscope. I have a watch on. You always need to have a watch so you can know what time it is or if you're going to be measuring respirators and stuff like that. So yes, I'm ready to get out of here. Let me show you guys my bag real quick. This is the bag I'm going to be carrying with me. This is a pretty big bag. I have a lot of stuff in here. I have my wallet. I have my folders here. I have a notebook. I have my computer. I have some hand sanitizers just for backup. I have some syringes. And then I also have my quick little hand sanitizer right here. That so yeah, this is the bag I'm going to be taking with me. I've actually done a video on what's in my bag before if you haven't seen that I will leave a link down below so you can see that but I just have a whole bunch of stuff in there that I need for my shift so I'm gonna go ahead and put my shoes on and I'm gonna get out of here okay so here we are I'm actually gonna take my jacket off it's not as cold as I thought it was gonna be maybe when I get out I'll put it on but in the car it's not that cold so I'll take it off Okay, so here's what we're about to go do. So I have a few patients on my list. I think I have about five patients to see. So today I'm actually going to be doing visits. For those of you guys who don't know what visits are, and for those of you guys who are new to my channel, I am a registered nurse. I am a RNBSN. I've worked in the hospitals in different specialties. I've worked in several different hospitals. I've worked in med surge, cardiac, neuro, and an ICU step down. But currently, ever since I had the baby, I switched to home health just because I like the flexibility that home health gives me. I'm also trying to venture into other things in my life. So again, home health gives me the flexibility to be able to do that. So I'm currently a home health nurse. I have an eight hour shift position that is my regular. And then I also pick up hours if I maybe want to make a little more um, extra cash. The holidays are coming up and I have a lot of people to give presents to. So so I've been picking up a few hours here and there. So today we're actually going to go do some nursing visits. For those of you guys who don't know what nursing visits are, nursing visits are basically when you go and see your patients in their homes for about an hour to two hours. Usually the max is two hours, depending on what you're doing. The patient can be a diabetic patient, blood pressure patient, cellulitis, wound dressing, IV, 
anything the patient can have any disease process just anything that a regular nurse does in the hospital a lot of times home health nurses do that as well so today i'm actually going to go see a cellulitis patient i'm going to see a diabetic patient i'm going to see a blood pressure patient i'm going to see a wound patient and i'm also going to see a patient that needs to be recertified to continue to get their home health care so that is what we're going to be doing today i'm going to be taking you guys with me of course i can't take you guys with me into the patient's home but I'm gonna show you guys as much as I can or explain to you guys as much as I can without breaking any HIPAA regulations so that is what we're gonna go do I'm gonna put on my seatbelt I'm gonna drive around the city you're gonna get to see a lot of what I do as a home health nurse and yeah it's gonna be fun so let's do this okay so I just made it from the first patient's home I'm getting ready to go to the second one. The great thing is my second patient's home is kind of close to the first one. So, so I like to do it that way because that way you're not driving around the whole city. It's nice to drive around the city, but if you have stuff to do, you don't want to go to one side of the city to see one patient and then drive all the way to another side. That's just going to waste your time and your gas. So if you guys are looking into home health, the best way to do this, and I've said this in previous videos, the best way to do this is to cluster your patients within one area or one neighborhood. So in this neighborhood, I have three patients. So up next, we're going to go see the cellulitis patient. First, I want to ask you guys this. Are any of you guys working home health right now or are any of you guys interested in being a home health nurse if so leave a comment down below i just want to know what's going on with you guys and what um fields you guys are interested in so if you're interested in home health or if you have any questions about home health leave a comment down below but first let's go see this next patient Working home health definitely teaches you the city because you get to drive around a lot. You get to see different neighborhoods. There are some good neighborhoods. There are bad neighborhoods. There are okay neighborhoods. You just get to see a lot. And it's just interesting to see um, how other people and other cultures live. It's very, very interesting. So here we go. Okay, so I have seen the other two patients and I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about them and then we'll go see the rest. So, where do I even start? Cellulitis is inflammation or infection of the skin. So it's kind of like a wound, but not really. So what I needed to do for this patient was a dressing change. So both of the patient's legs are infected with cellulitis. So from their knee, all the way down to their feet is covered in cellulitis and this causes itching it causes redness it causes I don't know you guys can look up cellulitis it just looks really really bad and it's very very uncomfortable for the patient this was a high functioning patient it's an older patient but they were still high functioning and with this cellulitis it kind of makes it hard now for the patient to get around because it causes a lot of pain it causes a lot of swelling and it also causes a lot of weeping so weeping is when the wound has a lot of drainage so what I needed to do was to go in and basically change the wet dressing and put a dry dressing so it's kind of like a wet to dry dressing I had to change the old dressing that was there and put a new dressing this can be really really painful especially depending on the level or the severity of the cellulitis so what I needed to do was cut off the old dressing clean it dab it with some gauze to make sure I get all the blood and drainage apply the antibiotics and other medications that are required and then replace the dressing with the clean dressing of course but so that is what I did for that patient so anyways the second patient was a regular wound dressing so this was a pressure ulcer on the patient's coccyx it's an older patient as well I feel like there's a little bit of neglect going on because that is how bed sores do when the patient is not repositioned as frequently as they should be or if they're not changed on time so if they're sitting there in wet diapers those kind of things can create pressure ulcer so I do sense a lot of neglect this patient had this condition for a very long time it seemed like it wasn't going away but ever since our agency took over and the nurses started coming out more frequently so it's healing up pretty well and I'm happy about that so we're three patients down we have three more to go but first thing first I have to grab some nurses note from the agency because I'm out of it so that is what we're gonna go do I might so when we come in these are all the nurses note I don't want to go too close so you guys can see what's on them so these are all the paperwork that you need 
you can pick out stuff from there 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 everything you need is here everybody has a meal box up there so if you have a meal you pick it up and um yeah this is what i need of course there's only one <laughs> I need to make copies so we are just making copies because we ran out. Okay, so what you guys just saw me do was I went in there, I turned in my timesheets, my nurse's notes, and I also had to turn in my timesheet because that's how you get paid. Working home health is kind of like working for yourself, and a lot of nurses tend to keep their timesheets and their um, nurse's notes just because you go and see the patient, nobody's going to ask you for your timesheets or anything. It has to be something that you have to do um, in order to keep the process going. So a lot of nurses tend to keep it for months and months and months. So now now, a lot of agencies have gotten smarter so now if you don't turn in your timesheets you don't get paid and um, unless you come to the office you're not getting your check so you have to pick up physical checks and I'll show you guys my check real quick I had to go and turn in my timesheet in order to get my check so this is my check right here I'm not gonna show you guys the amount but this is my check check I'm gonna rip this part off so this is my actual check I'm gonna go cash it and again you might say that's very old school why do they have checks but again like I said that's the only way the agencies are able to um, get their nurses to play nice basically so if you really want your check you're gonna turn in that timesheet and guess what your girl needed her check so here we are but anyways I gotta get out of here to go see the rest of my patients so I'll see you guys it is such a nice day guys the sun is out everyone's out it's so beautiful this is one of the best days to do visits y'all when the weather is bad it makes everything hard so i'm basically done with all my visits as you can see i'm super tired i'm ready to get home i still have to edit this video and post it for you guys but at least i don't have to you know be out working so i'm just We're here, here no that'll be it oh, are you, going to play? you too thank, thank you, you. Mm -hmm. okay guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here i had to move because there was somebody else behind me who needed to do some bank transactions and i didn't want to be in the way of that so anyways i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here as i said before i saw the rest of my patients everything went well i'm just ready to go home maybe take a shower get comfortable make some dinner and then go ahead and edit this video so that you guys can have it thank you guys again so much for watching if you like the video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification button so you never miss another video from me again vlogmas continues guys i'm surviving i'm shocked but i'm surviving so far so good so i'm really really excited to share my life with you guys for the next few days but yeah uh, this is basically it this was fun if you guys want more videos like this go ahead and leave a comment down below thank you guys again so much for your love and support and i'll see you guys in my next one bye